welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna spend my day as if I were Rory Gilmer. Gilmore Girls is a very famous American TV show and I really like one of the characters, one of the main characters, which is called Rory. She is the daughter of Lorelai Gilmore and she is very focused on her studies. She reads a lot and she is just overall a great kid until she isn't. Why did you drop out of Yale? It's complicated. Her lifelong dream was to attend Harvard and to become a journalist in the future. However, a few seasons into the show, she changes her mind and she attends Yale instead. I personally don't know what I would have picked if I would have picked Harvard or Yale. I'm not too into the American Ivy League school lore because I'm not American, so I never had to think about that or worry about it. But there is a certain appeal, in my opinion, towards the campuses and the history behind these universities. And something about it is just very dark academia and <laughs> it appeals to me, which is in part why I also like to watch the show. But anyway, so today I'm going to live a life as if I were Rory Gilmore. And Rory Gilmore drinks a lot of coffee. She studies a lot. She reads a lot. And that's pretty much it. You have to sleep, it's what keeps you pretty. Who cares if I'm pretty if I fail my finals? So I thought this would be a really good excuse for me to go to one of the most beautiful libraries in London and basically spend a work day there. Today's Friday, I don't have any meetings, so it's the perfect day to spend at the library and work from there. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, hopefully show you guys a bit around. I also need to grab some lunch there at some point and I also need to buy coffee because that's precisely what Rory Gilmore would do. Coffee. I'm not sure if I can bring my coffee inside into the library, so I'll probably have to drink it all before going in. I apologize if the lighting isn't great. It is a super gloomy day in London, but I saw the weather forecast and it should open up in a bit. But this is what I'm wearing. Rory Gilmore very often wears turtlenecks from what I've seen in the show. And I just paired it with a pair of leggings and I'm going to put this blazer on top because I feel like this is something that Rory Gilmore would wear. Here we are. I have my bag ready. I have my laptop, my charger, my emotional support book. <sighs> nothing, nothing smells like that. My camera, my AirPods, a notebook, and I need to grab some water on the way. Before we head to the library, I just want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Bitrix24. Bitrix24 is a very handy tool which you can use to organize both work and personal life events. I've been using their calendar quite a lot so that I can keep on top of my schedule. To me, what makes the calendar special is that I can sync both my work calendar and my personal calendar in one. This makes it so much easier to have a big overview of what's going on and what my commitments are. Things like doctor appointments or YouTube video deadlines are obviously on my personal calendar and then all of my work meetings and work commitments are on my work calendar. So it's nice to have one place where I can see them both overlapping. And it syncs with Apple, Microsoft and Google calendars, which is pretty much all that I need. However, it doesn't stop there. Bitrix24 is not just a calendar, but an overall planning tool. You can manage projects and events in Bitrix24 and you can link it to your calendar as well. For example, I have a technical study plan which I've been putting together for a while based on suggestions and recommendations I got from senior and principal engineers. And I created a project on Bitrix24 to keep track of the reading material and the courses that I want to do. For example, one of the things I'm doing is an advanced Java course on Codecademy. It's helping me a bit with multi-threading and then a book that I'm planning on reading is The Art of Unix Programming and also a philosophy of software design. I actually have this book here ready to read. I borrowed it from a colleague. Due to confidentiality, I have to remove my work meetings, but as you can see, this is the calendar that I've been using and you can then enable or disable the different calendars which are overlapping so that you get a good overview of your workday. If you want to give it a go, make sure to check the link in my description so you can create a free Bitrix24 account and make use of the calendar and the project management tools. First mission of the day, get coffee. Okay. Let's get a latte and a new croissant to go. Yeah. Yes. That's all, thank you. Coffee secured. Now let's go to the library. Yeah. 
It's good. And here it is. Just need to be careful not to be run over. Here we are. This is the library. Now I just need to figure out a way to get in. I kind of feel like a student again. Oh no! So the library is on the fourth floor and this is where I'm heading now. This was a very productive morning actually. The library was cozy and warm and silent. It was very comfortable working from there. Now I'm taking a break to have some lunch. I know there's a pizza place around here, an Italian pizza place that still makes really affordable pizza, very authentic. I know that Rory eats pizza and, and healthy food all the time, so it's a good excuse for me to do the same. left the library, it's 5 p.m. I finished working. It was actually a really productive day. Um, I am almost done with some code changes that I need to do. I thought I was done with them in the morning, but then it turns out the test coverage wasn't correct, so I had to write some more tests. I am stupid. Oh, stop. But anyway, like, let's talk about interesting stuff. I just went to this bookshop, which I spotted in the morning, thinking, oh, I'm gonna film it, and I bet it's a really cute independent bookstore, and I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my god, it was the most bewitched bookstore ever. There were books about, like, a beginner's guide to magic, like, introduction to magic. There were books about cults, about mythology and symbolism. Like, that was really weird stuff. I tried taking some pictures without the girls in there noticing. Just got home. And in the meantime, it got dark. I worked a bit longer. I'm working on this code change on a legacy system, and it's really difficult to work with this system. Like you need to make changes in a very specific way and you need to submit a release, like a dry run of a release to check whether your tests are running. I think there is a CLI that I could use to run it locally, but I was trying to use that last week and I couldn't like the command was just throwing errors. So I'm making the changes in the painful way. Pick a card. I was getting quite frustrated in the library because I was getting this error and I finally figured out what it was. And now I submitted a final release to see if my tests pass this time. And if they do, this is sort of a big chunk of work for a big project, which we need to get done by the end of the year so it will be nice if i manage to get this done this week so i worked a bit longer it actually got pretty late it's like 7 pm now i don't usually work this late on a friday but i just really wanted to see if i could get the test to pass so right now i just called a local 
Asian restaurant near my house and I ordered a takeout. They have this dish I really like, which is like a marinated chicken with rice and then they serve it with pak choy. Such a comforting dish, I love it so much. So I ordered that for dinner. So let's go pick up my food. I bought Uggs, by the way, best purchase ever for the fall. I know that they're not very chic, but they're so comfortable. I secured the goods. I changed into a fresh pair of pajamas and I wanted to show you guys how I sometimes set up the projector in my apartment. Obviously, I live in a studio, so I don't have a lot of space. And it's honestly not that bad. It's just slightly annoying because I have this separation, this black line in the middle, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to sit down and have my dinner and watch some Desperate Housewives, which is my guilty pleasure show.